Live, this is 8 News Now at 6. Good evening. More than one and a half million people from around the world say they plan to be in tiny Lincoln County on September 20th as part of a plan to storm Area 51, the top secret military base. Another million or so say they're thinking about joining the protest movement to pierce the secrecy surrounding the mysterious base. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. If only a fraction of those people show up, it would have a huge impact on rural Nevada. How did this get started and where is it headed? The I-team's George Knapp tried to find out. Well, you know, we've been reporting about Area 51 for, oh, three decades or so now. <laughs> so some of the seeds for this might have been planted right here. Area 51 is almost synonymous with secrecy. And even though the person who proposed this idea meant it as a joke, it's taken on a life of its own in news reports, social media, and in ominous warnings issued by the U.S. military. This is what rush hour looks like on Groom Lake Road, the main drag into Area 51, as a few employees dash for home and others ride the bus with the blacked out windows. Now imagine a million people with cars, RVs and tents out here. It would be a madhouse. So we had an event right at the gates. About 50 people showed up, maybe 30 vehicles on Groom Lake Road, on a dirt road. And we had a minor traffic jam on our hands. We had to regulate traffic and we had to make sure that everybody finds room to park. Now imagine you have a million people show up and try to park. That's not going to work. Jorg Arnu lives in Rachel, the tiny town next door to Area 51. His website, dreamlandresort.com, focuses on black projects and military secrecy. He thought That's Storm Area 51 was a joke uh, until he didn't. I used to get about five to 600 hits a day. Uh, right now I'm getting up to 3,000 a day. Day. So there's a huge spike. This is the Facebook page that started the Fuhrer. It was always meant as sarcasm and contained several clues to that effect. Its creator never meant to suggest that a million people could invade Area 51 in the belief that the military can't possibly shoot them all. The idea has been proposed multiple times over the years, but this time it caught fire. Because I posted it on like June 27th and it was kind of a joke. And then it waited for like three days, like 40 people, and then it just completely took off out of nowhere. It's pretty wild. Matty Roberts has declined to be interviewed until now, in part because once his idea sailed past 500,000 signatories, he was concerned he might get a knock at the door. I was just like, the FBI is going to show up to my house, and it, it got a little spooky from there. But you know, when we meant to keep the secret, we meant you can't tell your friends, right? Maddie says he got the idea after watching podcaster Joe Rogan interview Area 51 whistleblower Bob Lazar and filmmaker Jeremy Corbell about alleged UFO technology hidden in the Nevada desert. That story about the secret base has spawned its own mythology, along with the world's only state-designated extraterrestrial highway. Joke or not, businesses on both ends of that stretch of the road are now preparing for an invasion of visitors. It's been insane. Connie West owns what used to be the Rachel Bar and Grill. The name changed to the Little Alien after Bob Lazar's story first broke in 1989. Since then, it's sold E.T. themed burgers, booze and other merchandise. The inn's 10 rooms are booked solid around the September 20th target date, so Connie is clearing 30 acres where visitors can camp and listen to four or more bands that say they're coming. West gets along with their neighbors at the base and doesn't want anyone to cross the line. Just be a little, a little scared, but bring it. We'll, we'll do our best. I don't believe that they should be doing this and, and, and breaking the law. I just don't believe in that. You don't think they will, do you? Think uh, some of them might? Of course. Some, somebody's going to try. At the eastern end of the ET highway, behind the 50-foot gort-like robot, an even bigger collection of space-themed merchandise awaits visitors to the Alien Research Center. Employee Linda Looney, that's her name, says there's a buzz in the air. But the customers coming in are all talking about it. People come from all over the world. Ethiopia, Zimbabwe, Russia, everywhere. The owner of the center is Las Vegas businessman George Harris, creator of Alien Tequila. He says he checked with Lincoln County Sheriff before he started making plans to accommodate hundreds, maybe thousands of campers and visitors. He'll have bands, food trucks and speakers. Harris is happy to take advantage of the business, but is also serious about UFOs and secrecy. So someone keeps asking me, well, what's caused all this? It, it, the cause is the government because they're so secretive stuff and people want to know what's going on up there, you know? 
this is tapped into something. It's tapped into something big. As the plans take shape, we'll have updates for anyone who wants to go. Keep in mind, the Air Force has made it clear it is dangerous for anyone to attempt to access a military facility, especially this one. There are other dangers, too. People who go need to be self-sufficient, have water and food, and a reliable vehicle because services are limited. There's no gas station in Nothing Rachel. Nothing out so, there, no. yeah. I, I was joking, this is like Coachella for aliens, but on a serious note, if a large group does show up, uh, does the base essentially have the security to stop them? I say the chances of anybody getting in there and seeing something classified or something they're not see, supposed to see is about zero. Mm -hmm. I mean, they know their business. And I think they have, they have technology, perimeters of security. They have, I think, probably if the crowd starts gathering, they'll bring in extra help. They definitely can stop uh, any invasion. Watch this become like an annual event. I think that's a great idea. We, we, know, <laughs> we know what we'll be doing and covering the third week of September. We'll be there. Yeah. All right, George, thanks.